Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to a new video. We're on episode three here, and um, we've got a uh, we've got some stuff to do. I think the biggest thing that I want to show you guys is I made a slight update to the car that we've had. You can see I've got some new wheels on there, but I'm actually doing something a little bit more. So I spent some time using the design and paint option to kind of customize the car just a little bit. And I'm quite excited with what came out here. So if we go to the design and paint section and then we go to my designs, here it is. We got a brand new livery from the, the Casual Edge Cup. I found a design that I really liked and I wanted to try and recreate it myself. So that's what I've done here. And I think it looks pretty good. You know, my first time actually using the editor there. And so it was a little, uh, was a little bit of a learning experience. But I think it looks pretty good. Um, and so I think we use this going forward as part of our uh, our race kit. So we'll jump back into our career. And I believe we'll be racing at Miami. Yes, we will. It should be pretty decent weather. So we'll go ahead and jump straight in. So here we are at Miami. Um, it'll be a five lap race with three laps of practice as always. A little bit of a longer course, um, but we'll be on the road circuit. It's about 2.21 miles. So we're currently tied at 68 points. And I think we'll try to distance ourselves in the last two races here. Still on four difficulty and expert rules as well. So we'll go ahead and jump into practice and see how that goes. So here we go at Miami. And just wanted to see how the. <laughs> oh man. Oops. I have not raced at Miami before. So, this will be a bit of a learning experience. That's what practice is for. Took on quite a bit of damage, as we can see. Not the best start to the new livery. We'll just try and have a better race. And magically, all that damage has been repaired. I do want to look at the lap times. Uh, that's the only clean lap I set at 2.09. I think we'll be okay. So yeah, we'll jump into the race here in Miami. And hopefully we'll do okay. Um, hmm. That's quite interesting. We're projected to finish 24th. Um, okay. Not sure why that is. I guess because the lap time that we set, that's where we're projected to finish. That's interesting. Um, we've been starting in 12th for the last few races, so we'll just kind of stick here and hope for the best. So we'll start in 12th. And that new livery looks good. So we'll try to get a good launch here and work our way up. Decent start. And we'll take the position. So up into ninth place currently. I think this is where the car really shines on the straight. And into the turn of the oval. And we'll put the pedal to the floor. And absolutely dust that guy. So we're already on lap two and we're eyeing down potential podium. Try and make a move on the guy in third. Just got more power. Let's just hope I can keep it clean the rest of the race. 
And into the turn where I absolutely ruined my car the first practice. Currently sitting P3, I think we're looking pretty good here. We'll make a move into the turn here and get up into second. And be right on the tail of first place coming into lap three. side and he doesn't like that starting to put some distance between myself and the car behind back on the oval and we'll come across lap three being in first position Coming across the line with our second straight victory. P1. Good work today. Fastest lap of the race by far. Well clear of second place. So we've now got a three point lead going into the final race of the series. As long as we can finish ahead of the guy in second, I think we'll do just fine. Well deserved victory. So we're up to driver level 11, almost up to a million credits as well unlock a few new parts. We've got an intercooler. Uh, we could do some conversions as well and some weight reduction. So it looks like our final race of the series will be at Nürburgring. Uh, this will be on the sprint circuit, so it won't be nearly as long as the full Nürburgring. We'll jump into performance and just do another quick upgrade to make sure we've got some decent leveling going into the final race of the series. So we'll go ahead and confirm that. And... I think we'll leave the tuning as is for now. It felt pretty good, even though we do have some new parts on there. I think we'll be okay with what we have. Uh, so we'll head over to the Nurburgring. So here we are at the Nurburgring, just ahead of practice. Alright, here we go into practice. So target lap time is a 151.38. So we'll try and set that early. Not like that. And a hard left hander here. Missed it. Okay, we've got a three point lead going into the final race. So as long as we can finish ahead of this guy, we'll lock up the series with the W. So we'll continue to start in 12th and just see how it goes. So let's check the grid. There's our target. He's in third place currently. So as long as we finish ahead of third place, we should be just fine. So let's go race. At the starting grid, try to get a decent launch here. Get on the power early. We'll let the race kind of shake out. First lap's always the worst because everybody's all bunched up together. We do find ourselves already up into 10. Hopefully we can hold on to said 10th position. Should have enough power to get in front of these guys. He breaks too early. We are just absolutely flying. Slight lock up on the tires there. So we've made a good start. We'll come across the line for the second lap in P6. And a 
slight collision there. So you can see our rival just in the distance there. Hope to track him down. Sit in P4 at the end of lap two. On to lap three. Making subtle gains here. Another big live up there. Try to get on the power here. Just eyeing down the guy in third. This is who we're after. Looks like we'll have to make a move a little bit later than I thought. But it does look like there's going to be an interesting battle here as we come up right alongside him. And we do manage to get past him. So, on to lap 5, final, final lap of the race. We do manage to secure second for the time being. Can we catch the guy in first? He's widened the gap just a little bit. Unless something wild happens here, I think we'll secure a P2 with just enough points to secure the victory for the series. And we come across in P2. Looks like our rival finished in P4. And we do. So it does look like we have just enough points to squeak by and get the W for the first series. Heck yeah, we've got the best car by far. After the first few races, I was getting a little nervous. We made a good recovery, and I think we uh, got a well-deserved victory. So we've got our third podium, albeit P2. But we'll definitely uh, relish in this, this moment. Continue on, and there's our first place trophy. Heck yeah, man. Gold trophy for finishing first place in the Practical Performance Series, and we've got an extra 15,000 credits as well. We've also unlocked the Enthusiast Tour. Um, I think we'll try to get into that at some point, and we'll just get some car unlocks as well. Well, heck yeah. I think that's a good overall start to this series. We can see the gold trophy there. We do have first place. I think we'll end the video there. I appreciate you guys tagging along for the journey. Um, and we'll, uh, we'll hope to carry that momentum into the next, uh, the next event that we do. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did, feel free to drop a like and, uh, yeah, we'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Oh, okay.